Let's give another round of applause for our Dubuque Senior High School Band. The drum line. And our fabulous director, Mr. Bill Rowley. Good afternoon, my name is, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dan Johnson. I'm the principal at Dubuque Senior High School. Uh, for your safety, <clears throat> we would like to call your attention to the location of emergency exits located along the 5th Street, uh, 5th Street uh, exit over here in the northeast and the northwest corners of the facility. In case of severe weather, please remain in your seats for instructions and the ushers will escort you to a designated area. For the convenience of others and in respect to honoring this ceremony, please silence your cell phones and other electronic devices, like I just did before we start. At this time, I ask you to rise, remove your hats while we honor our country with the senior high singers singing our national anthem. Our graduates, with their caps and gowns being considered their active uniforms for this ceremony, are not required to remove their caps. Mr. Slade. is our student council president and leader of our student body. During her high school experience, Lauren has participated in student council, cheerleading, soccer, speech, and Spanish club, earning five major Ds and six Dubuque Senior Academic Excellence Awards during her high school experience. She is ranked amongst the top students in her graduating class. She is the recipient of the, of the Principal's Leadership Award, and in the fall, she will attend the University of Northern Iowa where she will study communications. She is the proud daughter of Joe, a, te a teacher at senior high school, and Pam Connolly. Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Connolly. Good afternoon. My name is Lauren Connolly, and I'm the student council president. I somehow managed to get over 50 credits without taking a single medals class from my dad, Mr. Joe Connolly. Now, I would like to welcome you all to Dubuque Senior High School's 2018 graduation ceremony. As defined by Merriam-Webster, graduation is the receiving or conferring of an academic degree or diploma. I would have to argue that graduation is so much more than a piece of paper. It's the culmination of the years of school that have shaped each of us into who we are today. This piece of paper represents at least 13 years of experience, development, and growth. It displays the commitment and dedication of every one of my classmates in front of me. Behind this diploma is every early morning spent finding a parking spot in a somewhat close proximity to the school, every late night spent maybe not doing homework, and every class, shift at work, and sports or music practice in between. 
As we hung up our IDs on the Ram statue during our final walk out of the building, we made sure to leave our mark on senior high school and ensure that no one forgets the class of 2018. As for the students, we have received many valuable life lessons during our time at senior. We will never forget all the selfies with Dr. Johnson, every Nasty Nation hype video, and all the fire alarms that went off during construction even though there was never an actual fire. But most importantly, we will never forget that once a ram, always a ram. As my last act as president, I welcome you all to today's ceremony and hope you enjoy the celebration. We will now have a selection by our orchestra. They will be performing Dreamy uh, by Brian Bal Balmagus and uh, directed by Mr. Andrew Geisler.
Superintendent Stan Reingens has been with the Dubuque Community School District since 2004 when he served as the Executive Director of Human Resources. In 2012, he moved into his current leadership role as Superintendent. Prior to moving to Dubuque, Mr. Reingans was a high school principal in Wilton, Iowa for five years, as well as a social studies teacher at North Scott High School and Freeport High School. A decorated military veteran, Mr. Reingans served in the United States Army and is a recipient of the Bronze Star. He holds a bachelor's degree from Loris College and a master's degree from his beloved University of Iowa. He resides here in Dubuque with his wife, Jen, and their three children. Please welcome Mr. Stan Reingans. Thank you, Benedict. I'm gonna try and start a little bit smoother than I did this morning where I said senior high school to the Hempstead graduates, so. <laughs> Before we begin, that's a true story. Before we begin, I do wanna introduce some people who work really hard on behalf of the students and, and the community to make sure we have a great school district. I introduce our school board. Uh, school board president, Tammy Ryan. <laughs> Vice president, Tom Barton. Board member Nancy Bradley. <laughs> Board member Anderson Sancy. <laughs> Board member and retired senior high teacher, Jim Prohaska. <laughs> and board member, Elisa Whitman. <laughs> senior class of 2018, you've made it. For the past 13 years, you've all worked towards a goal of reaching this day. And today, you will graduate from a high school that is routinely recognized as being one of the top high schools in the state of Iowa. I know that journey has not always been easy, but you have persevered, and today, the entire Dubuque community is proud of you. I want to leave you with five very short pieces of advice. Have confidence in yourself and your education. You have had great teachers and been given a great education. You are more prepared than you may think. Define success for yourself. Don't let society tell you what it means to be successful. Find your passion and live a life of working towards that every day. Dream big, but work hard. Hard work without a dream may lead you down the wrong path, and a big dream without the commitment to work hard will go unrealized and lead to frustration. Be grateful. Be grateful for all the people in your life who make your achievements possible. Make it a habit to thank those who support you through the, your success and your failures, none of us succeed on our own. And finally, be nice. Treating people the way you'd like to be treated is a simple yet effective way to be successful every day. Today and this week, take some time to celebrate this important milestone. Please remember that today is important not only because it signifies the accomplishment of an important goal, but it also represents the starting line of your next chapter of your life. You have been prepared well by your teachers, and I congratulate those of you who have arrived at graduation having accomplished much. You certainly have a head start into the future. But I challenge all of you to believe that from this day forward, anything is possible for each of you. You have an opportunity to find success for yourself. Your future is limited only by your willingness to dream big and work hard every day to accomplish your goals. Congratulations, senior class of 2018. We are proud of you. Today we will have two student speakers. Our first student speaker is Emily Tiggis. Ms. Tiggis attended Table Mount Elementary School, Eleanor Roosevelt Middle School, and of course, Dubuque Senior High School. During her high school experience, Emily has participated in cross country, soccer, track, volleyball, marching band, concert band, and orchestra, uh, and some of those even at the same time. Emily has been an all-state band participant, a National Honor Society member, and she is the recipient of a Silver Corps, a newly initiated program by the class of 2018. In the fall, she will attend Mount Mercy University, and she will double major in biology on the pre-med track and music. She is the daughter of John and Cheryl Tickets. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Emily Tickets.
welcome grandparents, parents, relatives, friends, and class of 2018. We finally made it after 13 years. I'd first like to thank my parents, John and Cheryl Tiggis, for their endless support, my many friends for being my confidants, my brother for not just being my brother but being my best friend, and my teachers and coaches for teaching me about life as well as their required lessons. I'd also like to give a special thanks to my music teachers, Roel Grog, Andrew Geisens, Mr. Bryony Nabnet, and Mr. Dan Norman, because they helped me discover myself as well as helped me grow musically. Without each and every one of you, I could not be here today. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Emily Tiggis. I've participated in many activities, including concert band, marching band, full orchestra, cross country, track, soccer, and freshman year volleyball. <laughs> I'm not valedictorian. As you can see, that's Nadia Wade. And I'm not salutatorian. That is Ellie Conley. I'm an average student that has walked the halls at Dubuque Senior High School. While obtaining these honors would have been great, I have grown intellectually while being a student at Senior. For example, Ms. Jorgensen taught me that I can be a successful citizen without being number one, and Mr. Fisher taught me that glory comes from hard work and extreme dedication on and off the course. While many lessons have yet to be taught, we have been continuously learning lessons since we have been children. While reading to my eight-year-old sister, Sophia, I discovered the lessons the books were trying to teach the reader, a concept I never grasped until I was older. As children, we are so focused on the color of the main character's shirt rather than the life lessons being taught within the story. However, when I revisited these, I discovered important advice that is applicable to the reader's life, whether they are 10 years old or 100 years old. For example, in The Engine That Could, the reader learned about perseverance. And in The Giving Tree, the reader learned about the importance of giving and the importance of selflessness. Today, I brought a children's book that my mom gave me a few years back you won't be able to see the illustrations, but that's not the point. This story is called I Wish You More. I wish you more ups than downs. I wish you more give than take. I wish you more tippy toes than deep. I wish you were more we than me. I wish you more hugs than uggs. I wish you more woohoos than woes. I, I wish you more will than hill. I wish you more can than not. I wish you more snowflakes than tongue. I wish you more pause, then fast forward. I wish you more umbrella than rain. I wish you more bubbles than bath. I wish you more treasures than pockets. I wish you more stories than stars. I wish all of this for you, because you are everything I could wish for and more. Class of 2018, it was an honor to be a part of your journey, and I am extremely thankful for you being a part of mine. As life continues, I wish all of you perseverance, happiness, love, strength, and success. I wish you all of these things and more. Thank you. Our next speaker is Nadia Wade.
Ms. Wade is the valedictorian for the class of 2018. She attended Bryant Elementary School, George Washington Middle School, and of course, Dubuque Senior High School. During her high school career, Nadia participated in Coding Club, First Tech Challenge Club, Soccer, and Cross Country. She was awarded the first Congressional Merit Award, the first Citizens Award, and she is recognized as a Governor Scholar. In the fall, Nadia will attend Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, where she will major in electrical engineering and computer science. She is the proud daughter of Builder and Enrico Wade. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Nadia Wade. Fellow graduates, as you all know, this journey was one that could not have been traveled alone. Therefore, I'd like to take a second to thank those who helped us along our journeys. First off, all the teachers and coaches who worked hard every day to push us beyond our self-perceived limits. For me, that was Mr. Kilgore, who listened to me fumble over the speech about <laughs> several times. Uh, Mrs. Gorenson and Ms. Jorgensen, who cultivated my love of technology. And Mr. Fisher, who reintroduced me to the joys of running. I'd also like to thank all of our families, whether they be blood or not, and friends who had our backs every step of the way. Kayla, Abby, Hannah, you, have, you guys have always been there for me these past four years. Stacy, thanks for all the lovely winter runs. And shout out to Libby, who only did soccer this season for this one moment. Um, Mia, you were a pain in my butt. I appreciate it. And thank you to my father and the rest of my family for coming to support me today. Most of all, I'd like to thank all of you, my classmates, for challenging and changing my perception and Norika Wade, my mom, whom this speech is about. So most of you know her, right? Or at least her yell, go Nadia, go, at some sporting event. <laughs> yeah, so by conventional measures of society, my mom wouldn't necessarily be described as intelligent when compared to other people. She's not dumb, don't get me wrong. But she isn't the CEO of some company, a teacher, a doctor, or any other professional that holds prestige in our society. Since elementary school, she wasn't able to help me with my math or English homework. And in fact, until about the second grade, I didn't know Adidas wasn't pronounced like Adidas. But none of these things ever mattered to me, as I always saw her as one of the most intelligent people I've ever known. As a toddler, there were nights when I stayed up with a flashlight, trying to fold origami with a confusing set of instructions. And the next morning, my mother would perfectly fold it in under a minute, leaving me in awe. She would show me her picture albums of her traveling the world as she recollected memories and told me all the things to watch out for. And as I walked through Japanese temples and skimmed my fingers along its walls and the surfaces of statues, my mother brought them to life with her stories and histories. Furthermore, to this very day, I'll pester my mom to translate different phrases into Japanese and hang around in her room just to hear her effortlessly switch from English to her native language when answering the phone. More than that, it's different aspects of her character that I really admire, such as her ability to persevere in the face of ignorance. When people treat her as something lower and easily exploited because of her accent or background, my mother is never apologetic for her roots, and she never backs down. She knows exactly who she is and what she wants in life. In an endless sea of hazy question marks that aimlessly wander, she's a bold red exclamation point that trudges directly through to her goals. With that, my mother has been a lunch lady, a swim instructor, a translator, a busser, a travel agent, and more. And she's always strived to do her job to the best of her ability. Currently, my mom is a para because she knows what it's like to be completely misunderstood and wants to help those who may be. Like a little boy who doesn't speak English very well and actually doesn't speak very much at all, my mother went out of her way to help him, recognizing a younger version of herself. And now, she'll be the first person he'll go to when he has trouble in school. She may not be changing the world on a grand scale, but she's making a difference by shaping the lives of others, such as mine. The reason I'm standing as a valedictorian today is 100% because of her, as she inspired my love of learning and enriched my life with her culture. 
For all these reasons and more, I never thought my mom wasn't as smart as other people. So I guess what I'm trying to say is don't let tangible standards define intangible terms such as intelligence and success. These terms are so broadly defined that it's really up to each of you to specifically define it on your own. With that, people's definitions of intelligence and success change throughout their lives. The people sitting to your left and to your right may, um, <laughs> will each find different meanings associated with these words. And in 20 years, the three of you may find that you've compiled an entire dictionary of different definitions of success and intelligence. So never be afraid to ask yourself, even if it's for the thousandth time, what makes you feel intelligent? What is success to you? Thank you, and congrats class 20. We will now have a song by our senior high school seniors. As they definitely make their way over to the risers. They'll be singing The Longest Time, uh, which is by far one of my favorites and selected by the choir, as arranged by Kirby Shaw and directed by Mr. Steve Slade.
Our first faculty speaker is Mr. Chris Miller. Mr. Miller attended Lawrence College where he earned a Bachelor of Science degree in history. After graduating from Lawrence, he began his teaching career at Dubuque Senior High School and he is completing his fifth year of working in our house. During his time at Dubuque Senior, he has served as the head coach of our girls tennis team, an assistant coach for our boys swimming team, and is one of the advisors for student council. Known as an energetic teacher who throws his all into his instruction, Regardless of the temperature in his classroom, he works up a sweat every day teaching our Rams. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Chris Miller. Um, welcome, everyone. Thank you for being here. It, this is truly a special occasion, and graduates, if you're not sure how special this is, look around at how full this place is. That, that shows that you really have done something special to be here. You should be proud of what you've done. But I hope that in your four years, you also did something that, that made you a little nervous, that challenged you along the way. I hope you didn't coast through. And maybe being here was the challenge. Maybe the four years it took to get to this spot was not easy. Maybe you took AP classes. Maybe you went out for a club or a sport that you wouldn't have gone out for normally. Maybe you auditioned for the musical. Something that I've wanted to do for years, but I'm afraid to. Not so much for me, but for those that have to listen to me sing and audition and more terrifyingly see me dance. Um, I had a student message me before this and say, as a history teacher, I needed to use evidence to support my claims of this speech. And this is a perfect time to prove to you by using evidence that I'm not a good singer, so I'm not going to do it because it would be miserable for all of you. But I hope you did something that made you a little nervous, that challenged you a little bit. For me, it's this speech. I, I, I love that I got to be in front of all of you every single day and talk, but being in front of faculty, staff, um, it, this is a terrifying thing. But nerves are okay. Nerves get a bad rap, but they show you and they let you know that you're in an opportunity to grow. They let you know you're in an opportunity to get better and to challenge yourself. Um, for example, I may not be the best public speaker, but this is an opportunity for me to grow in that opportunity, and it's those nerves that helps me to do that. And it's those nerves that help you learn and continue to learn. And that's the one thing I hope you take away from your four years of high school, is I hope you never stop learning. Um, my high school cross-country coach gave me my favorite piece of advice that I've ever had, and that was, imagine how smart you would be if you learn just one new thing every day for the rest of your life. Just one. And it took me a long time to realize that he didn't mean just memorizing facts. Because if you've had me in class, you know that that's not what matters. It doesn't matter that Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1822, or that Martin Luther King Jr. was a key leader of the Protestant Reformation. And I hope that a lot of you are realizing I'm making mistakes up here, because if not, our social studies department may have failed you along the way. Um, but th that's not what he meant. What he wanted us to learn was he wanted you to learn something about the world you live in. He wanted you to learn something about yourself. He wants you to learn something about the people who are around you, and not just the ones you spend all your time with. He wanted me to learn something about people I don't know much about. Because once you start doing that, you realize that you don't have all the answers. And that's, that's a terrifying thing, at least for me. I love being right. Um, actually, more than that, I hate being wrong. But it's okay to realize that we don't have all the answers and that once you start to realize that, you realize that other people can bring things to the tables. You have to corroborate your story with other people's. And if you thought I was going to go the entire speech without doing some historical document analysis, you either never had me in class or you're kidding yourself. All right? But that's what we have to do. You have to take your story and corroborate it with other people's. That's how we get better. That's how we start to unify. That's how we start to come together. And, and like I said, that's a scary thing. But those nerves that you feel, that fear that you have sometimes, that's not a bad thing. Because it helps you change. When I was in high school, I don't know if they do it anymore, but we used to do the whole signing the yearbook things. I don't see it as much. But one of the things people always wrote was, don't ever change. And one of my high school teachers said, that is the most miserable piece of advice someone can ever give you. And my evidence for that is I want you all to take a minute right now and think about how you were as freshmen. Yeah. And now imagine you didn't change over the four years and you were the exact same person you are now. I, I had a lot of you on the tennis team as freshmen. I had a lot of you as sophomores in class. You're great people. There is room for change. All right? And that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. You always want to keep changing. 
And so if you take, I, I hope you take one thing away, it's that you always change. This is an amazing thing you've done to be here, and, and, but it doesn't end here. I hope you keep going after you graduate. I hope you keep taking challenges that make you nervous. I hope you keep learning. I hope you keep changing to improve yourself. I hope you listen to other people to do that. I hope you keep yourself open, and I hope you be proud of who you are and what you've done. You have done amazing things, every single one of you. But don't let that pride blind you to what other people can bring to the table. Don't let that pride close you off to what you can become. So again, thank you for giving me this opportunity. I'm honored. Um, this is an amazing place to be. And again, as we can see from everyone around us. So thank you for that. But more importantly than thanking you for letting me be here, thank you for teaching me something along the four years. I hope you never stop teaching each other. But more importantly, I hope you never stop learning. Thank you. Our next faculty speaker is Ms. Amanda Benson. Ms. Benson attended the Pennsylvania State University, where she earned a Bachelor of Science in Agriculture and Environmental Education. And she has earned a Master's of Art degree in Science Education from Northern Iowa. She has taught at Southwestern High School in Wisconsin, Jones Junior High, Eleanor Roosevelt Middle School, and then she graduated in 2014, where she started teaching in our house at Dubuque Senior High School. She is also currently an instructor at Emmaus Bible College. She is married to Chris Benson, and she is the proud parent of Carice and Carla. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Amanda Benson. friends, family members, Dubuque Senior, alumni, faculty, staff, administrators, school board members, superintendent, and graduates of Class of 2018. Class of 2018, you hold a special place in my heart. I am honored to share today with you. Seven years ago, I was lucky enough to meet many of you as you came to Roosevelt Middle School for sixth grade orientation. You were wide-eyed and filled with emotion, excited to take the next step, but slightly hesitant. As I look out at you today, I see the same looks. Your parents on that evening stood in the background as you prepared to launch yourself into your middle school career, which would lead to high school and eventually to this very day. Their looks today are very similar to seven years ago. Their faces show excitement, and pride, and for some, an element of relief. Unlike many secondary teachers, I've been able to not share one or two years with you, but many of you I've shared seven years with. I've been able to follow you from sixth grade to eighth grade to ninth grade. After your freshman year, our connections grew as I saw you on the court, on the pitch, on the stage, and daily, exchanges in the hallway. I have embraced every opportunity to celebrate with you and to mourn with you, to laugh with you, and to love on you. Each interaction reinforcing that we are the Ram fam. There was one great lesson that I have learned during our last four years together at Senior. Although we are a school, we really are a family. Family is more than just acquiring information from a source. Family is built on love. Knowledge is temporary and incomplete, whereas love never fails and will keep you together. Love is a mindset. When love meets someone, it asks, what is their need? Love does not look for what it can get from others. Love stands above everything in our life. Hope will out for as an expression of your love. Dubuque Senior is a community not centered singularly on knowledge or sports or money nor popularity. Our house is skillfully built on a foundation of love. Please take this foundation and build your own radical new communities centered on love. Don't just be full of life as you move forward, but also be full of love. Love is patient, 
and love is kind. Love does not envy and does not boast. Love is not arrogant and love is not rude. Love is not irritable or resentful. Love rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, always trusts, and always hopes. It always endures. Love never fails. You've spent time as a ram, growing into who you are, growing in knowledge, and in skill, and in love. It has been a beautiful process to witness. You are full of knowledge and love. Knowledge is beneficial, but love is the antidote to the issues that arise in life. Enjoy the emotion and accomplishment of today, and do not be hesitant about the future. Take what you have learned in your head and in your heart, and go, live it out in love. Parents, it's about to be that time. So if you are so inclined, you may take pictures of your graduates in the quartered off area to my left as we go through the awarding of, and the presentation of the, uh, of the diplomas. I will need my marshals to get into place. Will the class of 2018 please stand? Right. Ladies and gentlemen, That's a beautiful sound right there. Our rams are coordinated. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the Board of Education, Superintendent Ryan Gans, I certify that this class has fulfilled the requirements as set forth by the Board of Education and the State of Iowa for graduation from Dubuque Senior High School. I present them to you and recommend they be granted their diplomas. Student Class President, National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Lauren Jean Conley. <laughs> Class Vice President, National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Kirsten Noel Lucy. <laughs> National Honor Society President, graduating with highest honors, Benedict Johannes Schultz. National Honor Society Vice President, graduating with honors, Paige Johanna Kaiser. <laughs> National Honor Society Secretary, graduating with honors, Abigail Violet Marcus. <laughs> National Honor Society Communication Specialist, graduating with honors, Jalen Michael Hildebrand. <laughs> Senior Class Representative, National Honor Society member, and graduating with honors, Connor David Aris. Senior Class Representative, graduating with honors, Benjamin Michael Chapman. Senior Class Representative, National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Elizabeth Mary Connolly. Senior Class Representative, Caleb Alden Drake. 
senior class representative graduating with honors, April Ann Freihage. Senior class representative graduating with honors, John Michael Grant. National Honor Society member graduating with honors, Elizabeth Ruth Aikens. Elizabeth Alvarenga. Jacob Evan Ambrosi. Ryan Anthony Anglin. Laura Marie Angulo. Alex Christian Aragon. Graduating with honors, Addison Parker Aronson. Nathan Alexander Bailey. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Hannah Lynn Bakey. Troy Allen Berry. Josephine Hope Bartolotta. Daniel Allen Baston. Graduating with honors, Nathan Robert Bastion. Graduating with honors, Austin Joseph Beck. Casey Joshua Beck. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Carson Ryan Bellis. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Anais Riza Benedict. Sir John Savante Bennett. Jacob Bernard Benson. Tyler Robert Benson. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Kalei Sachi Beal. Anna Catherine Billmeyer. Paige Ann Billmeyer. Alexis Gabriel Birch. Graduating with honors, Brooke Hayes Poissons. Jade Lynn Blazer. Carson David Boland. Maximus James Boland. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Grace Anna Bradley. Austin James Breitbach. Anna Marie Brestrup. Dakota Lee Brimmer. Dylan Timothy Brockling. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Anna Catherine Brondike. Savannah Rose Brown. Salem Christopher Brownaloo. Nathan McCade Buddy. Luke James Bullock, National Honor Society member, graduating with honors. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Hannah Elizabeth Burke. Sean Stephen Burns. Graduating with honors, Mackenzie Jane Capacious. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Elizabeth Ruth Capron. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Easton Fitzgerald Carver. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Taylor Morgan Carpenter. Logan Patrick Caudill. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Alec Michael Chanley. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Christopher Daniel Chapman. Alexandria Margaret Cheatham. Jamal Francis Asar Cheatham. Graduating with honors, Cameron Cougar Clay. 
National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Keegan Aaron Coates. Colin Michael Coleman. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Abby Jean Conley. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Matthew Michael Conley. <laughs> Kenneth Wayne Cotton. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Olivia Gabrielle Coward. <laughs> Sydney Emmeline Cruz. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Emily Clara Culbertson. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Cameron Scott Davis. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Grant Michael Day. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Samuel Stephen Day. Samantha Lee Dayton. Devin Joseph Dean. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jacob Anthony Dean. <laughs> graduating with honors, Ian James Degree Mueller. <laughs> Samantha Ann Matson Rangel Delgado. <laughs> National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Carissa Ann DeMoss. Aaron Irene Dimmer. Graduating with honors, Lauren Ray Depke. Dean Allen Donath. Zachary Fitzpatrick Titus Donath. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Alexis Jeanne Doremus. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Faith Elizabeth Doyle. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Madeline Michelle Dressler. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Olivia Renee Dudgeon. Sunshine Ray Deer. Alexis K. Ellen Doovey. Morgan Elaine Doovey. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Teresa Dora Easley. Kivan Malik Edwards. Hunter Gregory Egan. Nash Brian Eggers. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Amy Cheris English. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Anna Irene English. <laughs> National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Samantha Rose Erickson. <laughs> Andrew Anthony Urshan. <laughs> graduating with honors, Kendra Grace Esau. <laughs> Jacob Matthew Esser. Ryan Scott Estelle. Alexander James Faust. Destiny Lashana Fern. Colton John Fegan. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Haley Kathleen Fischel. Graduating with honors, Dylan Michael Flanagan. Wendy Flores Gonzalez. <laughs> Kiera Tamika Flowers. <laughs> Jace Alexander Fry. <laughs> Andrew James Frummel. <laughs> Louis Michael Frummel. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Ava Lee Fry. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Mackenzie Marie Gaherty. Hannah Ray Gassman. Austin Tyler Gary. Brett Scott Geisler. 
National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Kayla Michelle Gibson. Tanner James Gordon. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Catherine Laurel Gordon. Tyler Daniel Grawl. Jasmine Ann May Granado. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Autumn Lynn Graw. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Chloe Marie Grice. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Emma Mary Hageman. Ashley Ann Hackinson. Graduating with honors, Chaz James John Hancock. Shelby Lynn Hanley. Blake Daniel Harris. Josiah Harris. Malik Jabari Harris. Nicholas James Hatula. Grant Michael Haylock. Graduating with honors, Avon James Healy. Graduating with honors, Gabrielle Ariane Healy. Jackson Kenneth Healy. Bailey Russell Hafel. Graduating with honors, Ashley Ann Heiderscheidt. Mariel Halkina. Peyton Joe Helling. Jordan Jessica Hennessy. David Hernandez. Jalen Bell Hirsch. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Hannah Rose Horner. Graduating with honors, Caleb James Hoffman. Morgan Eileen Hoffman. Evie Lane Holdren. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Caitlin Rose Hughes. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Matthew David Hinker. Graduating with honors, Amber Mariah Hunter. Graduating with honors, Nathan Stephen Huseman. Emily Rodriguez Hyde. Relgish Memory Joash. Adrian Chandra Johnson. Graduating with honors, Liam Benedict Johnson. Alita Federigia Jolette. <laughs> Sam Jones. <laughs> Alexia Marie Colley. <laughs> National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Lauren Elizabeth Cass. <laughs> Sierra Gabrielle. Graduating with honors, Madeline Renee Keller. Alexia Lee Kelly. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Tessa Rose Kemp. Sean Michael Kirkenbush. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Grayson, Grayson Christian Kincaid. Jaden Chad King. Tiani Renee Kirby. Isaac James Kirk. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Charles Nicholas Klapatowskis. Graduating with honors, Lauren Maureen Cloft. Daniel Parnell Klossner. Graduating with honors, Connor Alden Knapp. 
National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Garrett George Knowles. <laughs> Selena Sakura Kobaya. <laughs> Michael Joseph Koch. <laughs> graduating with honors, Hudson David Kaler. <laughs> Cody Thomas Keller. <laughs> McKenna Ann Kappas. Amanda Marie Coster. Graduating with honors, Elliot Irvin Kramer. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Joseph William Cruz. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Eleanor Margaret Keyes. Graduating with honors, Tony Felicia Lafayette. Dakota Jean Lake. <laughs> National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Stephanie Lynn Lamb. <laughs> Isabel Rose Lang. <laughs> Janie Ezra Lati. <laughs> National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Hannah Kathleen Lobsher. Tyler John LeCant. Raymond Lamar Lee. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Emily Elizabeth Lemire. Ashley Sue Lisi. Robert Samuel Lewis. Katrina Levi. <laughs> Jessica Michelle Darlene Livermore. <laughs> Elena Rose Moss. Joseph Carl Maddox. Delaney Ray Magner. Graduating with honors, Austin Douglas Manders. Graduating with honors, Ashley Marie Morrow. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Carter Alexander McCarthy. Elizabeth Rose McLean. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Ellen Margaret McDonnell. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Riley Joseph McDonnell. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Aaron Marie McDonough. John Henry McPoland. Callie Marie Merfeld. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Casey Marie Mesher. Graduating with honors, Noah James Muse. Angelina Rose Miller. Taylor Ann Miller. Wyatt Christopher Miller. David William Miner. Kaylin Alexandra Mish. Blake William Misko. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Alexis Renee Mahler. Emily Rose Mott. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Grace Elizabeth Mooring. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Sophia Elizabeth Mozina. Graduating with honors, Luke Charles Milius. Logan James Milius. Graduating with honors, Kaylee Ann Mueller. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Matthew John Netter. China Ray Nelson. Craig Morris Nelson. Bailey Vincent Newowner. 
Robert Scott Nielsen. Graduating with honors, Jade Nicole Noel. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Matthew Wayne Noel. Morgan Emma Noel. Graduating with honors, Justin Craig Nowak. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Zachary Allen Obank. Graduating with honors, Logan Michael Oberfell. Dylan Dean Oberman. Graduating with honors, Colin Daniel O'Brien. Joshua James Ortel. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jacob Carl Olson. Bailey Ann Orr. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Katrina Lene Owensby. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jacqueline Ruby Parr. Alexis Ann Patterson. Skylin J. Peavy. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, J.C. Lynn Peter. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Courtney Elizabeth Fobb. Dylan Andrew Fobb. Melissa Jeanette Pfeiffer. Michael Dino Paquette. Cheyenne Rose Pierce. Graduating with honors, Catherine Renee Pike. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Alexandra Helene Pinchuk. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Deidre Helene Pitson. Taylor Thomas Plowman. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Amanda Jo Pollock. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Mia Catherine Rampton. McCray Jane Rapp. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Kathleen Luann Rasmussen. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Taylor Sue Redmond. Braden Charles Reimer. Charles James Reimer. Jenny Joanne Risen. Andrew James Remichel. Graduating with honors, Jenna Ann Rettenmeyer. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, James Andrew Rettenmeyer. Alexander Anthony Richard. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Kobe Michael Rydell Olinger. Kevin Joseph Reese. Eli Michael Rogers. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Angelo James Romagna. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Margaret Joanna Rooney. Evelyn Cheryl Rose Tolstead. 
Austin James Allen Russell. Samantha Rubio. Julia Catherine Sampson. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Kathleen Shea Sampson Brown. Graduating with honors, Spencer Connolly Schilling. Kelsey Lynn Schlichty. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Carter Matthew Schmidt. Christopher Michael Schmidt Faber. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Samuel Thomas Schnee. Dakota Jeffrey Schultes. Morgan Catherine Schuler. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Carter John Schultz. Brittany Olivia Shaw. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jackson Daniel Chavanetta. Brittany Margaret Sheldon. Monet Nicole Shoemaker. Claire Josephine Siegert. Catherine Elizabeth Simpson. Graduating with honors, Evian Danielle Sims. Michael Patrick Small. Isaac Richard Snyder. Michaela Marie Snyder. Lance Richard Sokolowski. Michaela Jade Spark. Graduating with honors, Austin Matthew Stair. Alexis May Stapleton. Kaylee Ann Starkey. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Mitchell Steven Steckline. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Olivia Marie Steckline. Graduating with honors, Carter Allen Stevens. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Julia Francesca Stearman. Graduating with honors, Rachel Eileen Stepanovich. Emily Raynette Stewart. Graduating with honors, Elizabeth Kate Taft. Camilla Patrice Teasdale. Alexander Paul Texera. Hunter Allen Toma. Nikita Sue Toma. Jack William Thomas. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jacob John Thompson. Brandon Michael Tease. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Allie Marie Tigges. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Emily Morgan Tigges. Graduating with honors, Spencer Joseph Tilt. Graduating with honors, Eric David Tupper. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Jenna Lynn Beach. Graduating with honors, Trevor Cameron Vile. Logan Matthew Vise. Zeke William Vosper. National Honor Society member, graduating with highest honors, Nadia Noriko Wade. Graduating with honors, Devin Thomas Walker. Kylie Jo Walker. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Andrea Kathleen Waller. 
Graduating with honors, Taylor Marie Walsh. Binak Megan Watak. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Nathaniel Watak. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Toming Watak. Artasia Lachey Watson. Graduating with honors, Amanda Marie Weber. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Michael James Danner Wellborn. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Thomas Daniel Randall Wellborn. Nakia Marie Welch. Juliana Noel Welsh. Dylan Michael Wallou. Caitlin Ann Marie Wallou. Graduating with honors, William Patrick Whalen. Nathan Allen White. Zakiah Charday Deschel Williams. Andrea Marie Winders. Kennedy Nicole Woods. National Honor Society member, graduating with honors, Grace Nina Zuccaro. Would the class of 2018 please rise? Rams, as you leave the hallowed halls of our house, and venture out to do bigger and better things in Dubuque Senior High School, I encourage you to continue to represent our RAND Fan Corps values. Always be respectful in everything you do. And as always, be engaged. And always, always, always demonstrate and show your integrity. We have no doubt that you're going to be successful. No doubt about that at all. And we believe in you. You know that we love you. And we love bragging about our RAM, so make sure you go out there and do your thing on the next level. I present for your recognition, ladies and gentlemen, Dubuque Senior High School's graduates of the class of 2018. At this time, I need Eric Tupper and Jalen Hillebrand to please come down front. We will call Mike Grant to come down to help us out, but he literally had to leave to for uh, an engagement representing the state of Iowa here uh, in Des Moines at a competition. Gentlemen, one last time, leading the nation in the I Believe cheer, take it away. Make sure everyone gets a hat. <laughs> Class of 2018. Class is dismissed.